So this is my quick little chit chat. Get ready with me for this look for work. This is like my office beat down. It's a little bit more extra because I was on camera and I was just doing the most. Um, so check me out. Leave your comments down below. Chit chat with me, bitch. Let's have a conversation. And um, yeah, I gotta get to work though. I need I need this job. YouTube's not paying my bills, so I love y'all. Um, and if you want to see how I got this wonderful, wonderful look and hear about this giveaway and talk about Kevin Hart and talk about all this trash that's going on in this country, just keep on watching. Love you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back and I'm just, <clears throat> excuse my voice, y'all. I was sick. I've been out of it, but <clears throat> I just want to do like a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, basically to let you know. You know, just to talk, because I haven't done a chit-chat, get ready with me, and since my abortion um, story. So, I just want to do a quick one. I'm just getting ready for work. I'm already late. I'm always late, girl. <clears throat> and I look a mess, but I just kind of wanted to talk with y'all and, you know, hang out, because we girlfriends. A lot of y'all I chat with in the comments, and I just, you know, I just want to chit-chat it up, you know? Plus, I, I mean, it's been taking me a long time to edit these damn videos, and it's been annoying, but, um, this is just basically, like, my routine when I get, what I do for work. It's actually a bit more elaborate than it usually is, because I ran out of, out of all of my foundations, but here we go. So, first, I'm using this, I really don't want to go through all the products that I'm using, because it's going to take forever, but this is the Iman stick foundation I love this stuff oh my god it's hot in here Ooh, kitty cat and you smear all right so I just use this to get rid of my dark slippers and stuff y'all have not been getting any sleep every single year I get sick and I get a, like a cough and I don't even think it's a cold my mom used to get it when I was younger and I used to laugh at her because she would lose her voice so she couldn't yell at us so I thought it was like the best when she would lose her voice. But that's karma. Karma's a bitch because now my black ass gets sick every single year. I get the same thing. Let me clip my hair back. So, first I want to thank everybody that has been, first of all, been with me for a while. There's a lot of you ladies and gentlemen. It's not many that many men. It's most girls. Uh, there's a lot of you ladies and gentlemen that have been with me for such a long time and stuck with the channel because I'm inconsistent as fuck and, you know, whatever. But thank y'all. I really appreciate it. I appreciate that y'all like to watch me and you watch my little stupid little videos, my little tutorials and stuff like that. And I'm approaching 2,000 subscribers, which I'm so excited about. Like, the fact that there was even one subscriber is crazy to me but 2,000 is like there's 2,000 people that are watching my videos or at least willing to watch my videos or took the time to subscribe which is crazy you know like I think that's a wonderful thing and I appreciate y'all so much so I will at 2,000 subscribers I will be doing a giveaway as soon as I get to 2,000 subscribers I will open that up, but I really want to thank everybody that's been, you know, just rhyme with this channel. And I wish I could just give everybody this hair. Uh, well, basically, you know, it's not no secrets because I can't hold a secret. Ooh, I look a mess. Um, I will be doing a giveaway of this hair, this shake and go hair, the Bohemian Curl hair. I ain't got the check to be out here buying all types of hair. You know what I'm saying, girl? I got bills, but. <clears throat> I will be doing a giveaway of this hair and then plus a couple of other things. So, um, as soon as I get to 2,000 subscribers, that's what I will be doing. I'm so excited. Um, I just can't wait. I can't wait to do the giveaway because it's my thank you to y'all. I really do wish I could just give away 2,000 of the Shake and Go Bohemian Curl hair. But, you know... Hopefully I'll get there one day, you know, hopefully I'll have a check, but right now I don't. Um, this is a Fit Me Foundation. 
either way, I just wanted to say thank you. So I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I love chatting with y'all in the comment section. There is no comment that isn't responded to because literally that's, I mean, doing videos is what I enjoy. And I have a full-time job. So when I'm able to get to the videos, that's what I do. And I wish I had more time to do that. But I just appreciate everybody being able to do that. Like being able to watch my videos and stuff. But I'm rambling on. It's burning hot in my house. How y'all doing? What y'all doing? What y'all been? There's been so much going on. I also want to say like uh, to all of my uh, people in the Caribbean. They've been getting hit like crazy with these hurricanes. Irma, Maria all of that and I just want to send my condolences to everybody that's been losing family members their homes all of that and I'll leave some links down below for some relief for the Caribbean because it seems as though they're conveniently left out of the conversation when it comes to relief efforts so I will definitely leave I mean, of course, Houston, all those places, but the Caribbean, we, they do need special attention. Like, a lot of us like to vacation there. We think it's such a beautiful place. But there's also people that live there that need help um, with getting their homes back or at least restructuring their lives from what it has been. So, I will go ahead and leave a link below for that so we can send out some support to our beautiful Caribbean neighbors. Um, there's just been so much going on. Trump's a fucking idiot. Like, I don't even, I'm like tired of even talking about him. And this whole kneeling thing has turned into something that it wasn't originally supposed to be. Um, I just, one thing that always frustrates me, I think everybody has a right to do exactly what they want. And with Colin Kaepernick Nick kneeling, I thought it was a beautiful thing. And you know that he was trying to bring attention to um, the injustices in the U.S. and how not that black men and women are being shot, but there are no consequences for when that actually does happen. There is no recourse. So his, when he kneeled, he did that in an effort to bring awareness to what the issues are so it can call the privilege to action to actually those that are privileged can actually change that narrative change change the fact that these people are not being charged these police officers are not being charged after wrongfully killing black bodies so now it's turned into this whole thing and you know what I have like I was talking to my husband about it last night there's like a my little theory is that I think that redirection was on purpose because we've totally lost sight of what it was supposed to be about in the first place this is really what's supposed to be about us and what always frustrates me is that the privileged just seems to always make the conversation about them why why are we why are we talking about y'all why ain't nobody talking about y'all we're talking about us and the issues that we have in this country and the problems that we're being the fact that we're being shot in the street but y'all over here talking about yourselves and you know standing for the flag and how you feel about it how we should protest blah 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 like get the fuck out of here i'm just like i'm so tired of how America sensationalizes and almost steals every message and turns every message that we try to keep peaceful, they turn into something else. Every single time. If we protest, they show the vandalism. If we, you know, it's just like, I'm sick of the shit. That's what I'm sick of. So, um, I see that a lot of players were like locking arms and stuff like that. And I'm not, I think that's a wonderful thing, but once 
I feel like the teams got involved because Trump made that dumbass tweet calling them sons of bitches and shit like that. That he basically, I think he did that on purpose. He kind of changed how people thought of, he changed how people thought of the kneeling movement. Now you see coaches doing it, you see team owners doing it, and they're doing it because, I don't think it's because they care about the people. They don't, because if they did, we wouldn't have this issue in the first place. It really is about, they don't want to be disrespected, and their power is being challenged by Trump, and they want to make sure he remembers that they're the ones that funded him. And we can't forget that they funded Trump in the first place, when his rhetoric was the worst in his campaign. Well, it's gotten worse now, but... The shit that he was saying about Mexico and, I mean, he's been funded by them. So they don't really care about people of color at all. All they care about is the bottom dollar. So when Trump was calling for people to protest, when they saw players kneeling, that affected their bottom dollar. And basically, I feel like owners see the players as product. They don't actually see them as human beings with experiences that validate the reason why they chose to kneel or not kneel or whatever. So it's just kind of like, and the whole reason why people are protesting the NFL in the first place is because Colin Kaepernick doesn't have a job. And we know it is because of his views. So, girl, I'm just over this shit. I'm over... I'm over this administration. They exhaust me. Like, they 100% just exhaust the shit out of me. But, whatever. I'm using the MAC Pro Long Wear NC45 Concealer. I love this concealer. But I'm just over this shit. Have y'all tried um, the Fenty Foundation yet? I want to try it. I just haven't made it to the store. I just haven't felt like going. I'm so proud of her, though. Rihanna's like my... I love her. She's queen. And I can't wait to go and try it out. I just, on the weekends, I'll be tired, y'all. I have to edit my videos. I got shit to do. So, and spend time with my husband. I don't even be, I don't, going to the mall is like annoying to me. So, I'll make it out there and hopefully I'll be able to do a review on Fenty. I'll be late as hell. Y'all probably don't even want to see it. But guess what? I'm going to give it to you anyway because I want to support. It's for the culture. Oh, yeah. Speaking of for the culture, shout out to Cardi B, bitch. Cardi B is out here doing it. I'm proud of her. A woman of color, a Afro-Latina out there making shit happen. Barty gang. I think we are all proud of her. No matter how you felt about her as a woman of color, a man of color, she is... She's been doing the damn thing, and I'm so, so, so proud of her. I use the Amon press powder. I crush it up to make it more like a loose powder. Love this shit. And I know this is, like, late news. Kevin Hart, though? Y'all. Um. I can't even... I was actually surprised, not that he cheated, but that he was so sloppy because everybody keeps showing this Breakfast Club interview of what he said when he, um, when he, uh, cheated, of what he said about cheating on Anika because his past of, with Tori Hart, his ex-wife, was that he was, he cheated a lot and stuff, so, and that's why... That ended, that was the demise of their marriage, was infidelity. But he, one thing that he said in that interview that stood out to me was that they asked him if he would ever cheat. And he said something to the tune of, um, no, <clears throat> I would cheat because it's too easy to get caught out here. That don't make sense because to me, if you 
don't want to cheat. You don't do it for your own personal reasons. It's not about getting caught because if, you, if that's your answer, you'll just figure out ways not to get caught. Granted, it don't seem like he was trying real hard not to get caught, but I mean, his answer just made me feel like, oh, girl, Aniko, hopefully you know what you're getting into because, and I think she did. She knew he was a, he cheated on his ex-wife. And when you, I don't believe necessarily in the once a cheater, always, always a cheater sort of thing. I used to, but it's not really the case because I actually have cheated in one, in a past relationship. Um, and that can be, I guess it can be a story time. I don't know. I've never done a story time, but I have cheated before, but I've only cheated once. So, well, cheated, I lied to this person once. Afterwards, I felt horrible, not because, well, I don't really want to get into it, but I have cheated before, not in this marriage, not in this relationship. My husband is perfect. I will never, ever, 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 ever do that, but yes, I have cheated, and that's not something, I haven't done that in every single relationship. I've only done that. I've only done that in one relationship so but yeah homeboy was just sloppy like Jesus I'm sure Nico was like can you just please not be out here in these streets like that especially while she's pregnant honey I don't know what I would do pregnant baby what I'm emotional when I'm on my period, bitch. So, I can't imagine what a whole, growing a whole human. Get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> and it seems like there's this whole conversation, like, about cheating. There's a lot of, um, there's a couple of couples on YouTube that have been going through their marital itch issues, like... Dania, Dina, Dina, and Ahmed, and you know what, since I've gotten married, I've been married for a year now, my ideas on cheating have changed. At first I'd be like, girl, leave him, divorce him. I completely understand, ooh, my voice. I completely understand why people don't leave. Now, me and my husband, we've let it be known that that's not something that we will allow in our relationship. But I don't know their story. Like, I don't know what they've been going through. But they seem as though they're working it out. And if you don't know who our Diana and Amit is, they're like a UK vloggers. Diana is like this real fly chick. Um, she's friends with, what's that girl? Forgot her name. But, you know, they have, um, she's been on YouTube for a while. She's this real fly chick. She's beautiful. She can sing. Her, her style is real cute. Like, she's everything to me. Um, but her husband has, um, it seems like he has cheated or something. I don't know, but they have been working on their marriage and I say good for them. You know, like I used to before Lemonade, I swear to God, Lemonade, did Lemonade change your mind about cheating? It definitely changed mine. Um, Lemonade kind of taught me that Lemonade and also Shannon Boudreaux, they also, it taught me that not just people make mistakes, but people are individuals. And they have their own desires and um, I'm using champagne pop. Thanks, Brittany. She got me my champagne pop. Um, she has a blog, Southern Lights, Atlanta Nights. She's one of my friends. But if you want to go to her blog, go to go check her out. She does like, like almost like daily posts, but... Um, Yeah, I mean, the Lemonade album kind of taught me, you know, a lot about relationships and 
cheating and getting through it and overcoming it and all that shit. Like, I think it takes an... At first, I thought... I mean, I honestly thought that to go back to somebody that cheated on you is weak, but that's not the case. I think it takes an immense amount of strength to see through um, someone in their choice to hurt you in that way but forgiveness is always a strength i don't think i'm that strong girl needless to say i don't think i'm a strong bitch like that but you know i think it's extremely i think it's a strong move to be able to do that let me go ahead and spray my face down a bit. this is just water because i ran out of my fixing spray but i think any woman that can, or any woman or man that can, it's a strong thing. The only thing that I don't like is if a lot of these men, if you did that same thing to them, bitch, they would be out. I had to go get my other makeup. They will not be with you anymore. They're not playing those games, which, <clears throat> that's the only thing. Like, if you... Are the type of person to cheat, but you can't forgive your partner when they do that, then that's then you expecting some understanding when you won't get any understanding. You know? Like I don't get that, but you know, sometimes I can't say what I want to say, but people. Uh they just Maybe be trying it. But y'all, I am tired. Like, how many of y'all are actually sick? Because I'm fucked up. My camera cut off. I'm like sweating like crazy. Because it's hot. And these... You don't realize how... Hot these damn lights are, girl. Plus this hair is hot too. I haven't worn a wig in a while. My neck is sweating. Everything. Sweating. So, I mean, I'm almost wrapping up in this look. And I got to get the fuck up on out of here if I want to keep my job. Come on, girl. Then I'll be on YouTube full time because I ain't going to have no job. Okay. And I do a teeny tiny bit of like a darker I have really tiny lips, so. But, y'all let me know. Are you excited for my giveaway? I know you're super excited. I am. I can't wait. I've been like, ugh. I can't. I've been waiting for it. I've been telling my husband about it every day. We gotta get these funds together so I can get y'all y'all gifts. You need gifts. You deserve it. Don't want to do a lip gloss? I guess I do. Yeah, I do lip gloss on top of this. All this stuff is drugstore except for my MAC concealer and my champagne pop. And y'all don't sleep on a beauty supply store because they have a lot of stuff for women of color in their lip gloss, everything. You see, you won't end up with a powdered lip look. And I'm not a fan of that, honey. Oh, yes. Full of pow. I made lips, y'all. That's how you make a lip. Okay, let me put on my earrings. These are my work hoop earrings. Always with the hoops, but not always with <clears throat> always with the hoops, just not the big ones. The big ones are for the weekend. Oh, this hair. Y'all live... I know y'all live for this hair, and I can't wait to do my giveaway, y'all. So y'all just let me, all I need to do is get 2,000, tell a friend, oh, I can, ooh, I can do one at 3,000, that's too much. <laughs> but I'll definitely do it at um, 2,000 subscribers. I, I don't know what length I'm going to do, but 
2,000 subscribers will be it. This hair is the Deep Wave um, Bohemian Curl Mixed, but it, um, but I'll just be doing a giveaway for my Bohemian Curl. That's my favorite hair. The hair is the fucking bomb. Okay, this is it. This is the final look, y'all. I don't know if this light is washing me out, but it is sickening. It's my work look, y'all. Very simple. Simple bitch wear. Wear! And this is the hair. I have not washed this hair, combed this hair in forever. And it's been doing me justice. It's so soft and fluffy. Oh, don't you love it? Oh, can't wait to, for this giveaway. So tell a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell me down below what length you would want in this Bohemian Curl hair. Y'all let me know what links you want. Um, and comment on anything else below. Again, this is like my thank you video. I just wanted to chat with y'all. I'm not really that interested. I'm a boring ass bitch. But, you know, um, leave your comments below of what inches you would want in this uh, Bohemian Curl hair. And this this length is 22 inches. This is mixed with a deep wave, but this will just be Bohemian Curl. But, um, yeah, y'all just let me know. Okay, that's it. This is the final look. If you would like to see more, chit-chat, get ready with me. So if there's, oh, do you want to do a question and answer? I don't know if there's that many people to ask me questions about past relationships, and needing advice, and stuff like that. You could definitely leave um, if you want to do like an advice sort of thing, I would love to do that because y'all know I have a degree in psychology, which makes me qualified. Also, I have one year training in clinical mental health counseling. Okay, so I could be, you know, I can help y'all out, possibly. I may fuck up your relationships, but so what? I mean, if they're already messed up, that's a mess, girl. But yeah, it's my final look. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I will see y'all soon. Love, 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 and kisses. Bye.